Hi, I'm Kiki Fontenot. And I'm Alessandro Holzapfel. And we're here with the LSU Ag Center talking about growing blueberries in containers. This is a rabbit eye blueberry that has been in this container now for about five years or so. And what you're gonna notice is after several years of having your blueberries in containers, your soil or your media in this case is going to disappear. Why is it disappearing? It's because when we plant in the ground, we're planting in native soil based off of rocks, minerals, leaves, things decomposing. When we're planting in containers, we're actually using uh, potting soils made up primarily of peat moss and pine bark. Those two ingredients are really important when we're growing blueberries because we want our pH to be very low, ideally between 4.5 and 5.5. So that's what our media is gonna consist of. But because of our climate here in Louisiana and the fact that these are organic materials, they break down very quickly. So we have to replenish them every so often. But the first thing we are not going to do is just simply add mulch or soil. We have a lot of rain in Louisiana. That rain will cause water damage and that water damage eventually will cause wounds that will invite disease. This plant is already very stressed from the drought we had last year. We have a lot of dead twigs that we will take care of later. So the first thing we are going to do is actually lift this plant right out of the pot. So we're going to remove our irrigation stakes. Thank you, Alessandro. And he's going to use his strong arms to pull this very old and heavier plant up out of the pot. Because again, we're not going to put the mulch nor the potting soil on top. So as he holds that up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this pine bark, straight pine bark, and I'm gonna put in a nice five or so inch layer at the bottom. So now we're just gonna smooth out that layer of pine bark that I put in the bottom. Alessandra will gently put the, the plant back into the container here. And we can already see now that our plant is about two inches below the top of the container. This is ideal. We want a little bit of gap on the top because as water comes in here, we don't want soil nor our mulch, right? Because we're gonna cover it with mulch on the top to prevent weeds to be flowing out of the pot every time it rains or every time we irrigate it. But you will notice now that we have large loose gaps around the edge of this container right here. So what are we gonna do? We can take our pine bark and or if you have a potting soil that's primarily peat moss and pine bark, we can use that to fill in around the edges. So that's what we're gonna do now to make sure that this is nice and settled. If you left this in here without filling in the edges, you can see the plants really loose and it would blow a lot in the wind. But more importantly, air would be coming down and touching all the tips of these roots and keeping those roots pruned back so you wouldn't get the growth that you want. So let's go ahead and fill in the rest of this container. I'm going to do a mixture of some of the potting soil in there and some of the straight pine bark. I really like using a lot of straight pine bark in my blueberry plants because here in Baton Rouge, but in many places within Louisiana, our water quality is pretty poor. We have pretty high pH water. And so by combating that, you can, to combat that, you can use a lot of pine bark to kind of balance out that acidity. Because remember, in blueberries, we really want to keep our media and our water around 4.5 to 5.5 pH for ideal growth. And so you don't see nutrient limitations and things of that nature. I'm going to go ahead now. I think we have this pretty stable. We can push it down a little. We're pretty good. You can come in here, gardeners, and see that now, instead of being about six or seven inches below, we're only about a, an inch or two inches below the line. Alessandro's gonna go ahead and put the irrigation stakes back in, and we can always just add a little bit more pine mulch to the top to prevent weeds from coming into this container later. And this is how you pot up a blueberry shrub that has lost a lot of its media due to natural decomposition.